Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here. And today we're gonna to be doing a little 4K video test with the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And my goodness, it is hot out here. It is humid. I mean, you can see just how muggy it is in the background. I am sweating already, so please forgive me for that. But we're gonna get this test done anyway. So we're gonna be testing out the cameras on this device to see just how good the quality is when recording at 4K 30 frames per second and 4K 60 frames per second with both the front and the rear facing camera. Right now I am currently filming Filming on the front facing camera with the Galaxy S20 Ultra so when I switch over to the Note 20 Ultra you can kind of compare the two and see which one you like better but I will have a separate dedicated video to comparing both of these devices when it comes to 4k video recording but before we get started I got to give a huge thanks and shout out to the sponsors of this video subcase if you are not familiar with who subcase is they make some great durable protective cases that are really going to protect your device the one I have on my device right here is their new exo series which i think actually looks really really cool and i have done many drop tests on this channel with their cases on my devices and my device always comes out looking like new you can't even tell i dropped it so many times especially with their most popular unicorn beetle pro series i mean that case is going to protect your device to the fullest so if you want to check out some of their cases i'll make sure to drop a link down in the description below and not only that but they're also giving away a brand new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So if you want to enter that giveaway, I'll drop a link down below for that as well. And make sure to use secret code JoshQ100 so you can get yourself 100 extra entries in that giveaway to up your chances at winning a brand new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and a case of your choice. But it is hot out here. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Starting with the front facing camera on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Let's go ahead and switch it up. And boom, we are now on the front facing camera of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. What do you think? As you can see, got my S20 Ultra in hand now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in my pocket and Whoa, I feel like it is getting more humid by the minute, but what do you guys think about the overall quality? So far, here in the viewfinder, it actually looks really, really good. Going to pan around here a little bit. Let's see how well it captures the sky, the whole background. We'll check out stabilization right now. Also, let me know how well you think my voice is coming through the mics, if it's blocking out any background sound. I got some of those very loud, annoying bugs in the background, so not really sure if it's picking that up or if it's picking up my voice over that sound. But yeah, so this is the front facing camera, 4K 30 frames per second. Let me pan around one more time. Let's go ahead and check out stabilization. So go ahead and do a little slow jog here. What do you guys think? Go ahead and do a faster jog. There you go. What do you guys think about the stabilization? And I'm not using any special gimbal, anything like that. Actually, let me show you what I'm using. Just a small handheld tripod here. Nothing special just to help me hold the phone. So again, this is 4K 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and switch it up to 4K 60 frames per second. All right, so we are now at 4K 60 frames per second. And I actually really like the way it looks. I think it just gives it more of a smooth feel to the video. It's just really smooth. Look at that. Let me pan around a little bit here. Looking really, really good. At least here in the viewfinder, of course, I'm going to have to go back, watch the footage to really see what it looks like. But so far here in the viewfinder, it looks really, really good. Let me go and do a little bit of jogging here. Check out stabilization because video stabilization is supported with 4K60 on the front facing camera, which is awesome. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me turn around and go ahead and do a bit of a faster run here. Good thing there's no, there's like absolutely nobody at the park right now. So, which is great for me. So I can pretty much run anywhere that I want. But yeah, this is 4K, 60 frames per second on the front facing camera. Let's go ahead and check out the rear facing camera now. Okay, so this is now 4K, 30 frames per second on the rear facing camera. And the first thing I actually want to test out is the focus to see if it's been fixed coming from the S20 Ultra. So we'll focus on this flower, move, flower, Ah, seems to be doing a good job. One more time. Yeah, look how fast that focus is. So definitely fixed coming from the S20 Ultra. No problems there. And I think the footage actually looks really, really good. Let's go ahead and check out stabilization. Do a little bit of jogging here. Now a bit of a faster run. There we go. Let me go ahead and just pan around here. Again, 4K, 30 frames per second. Now the cool thing about this is that you can actually zoom in while recording. 
So this is five times zoom. Now I'm not sure how much more stabilized it's going to be when zooming in, but you guys let me know what you think. And then we can also use the ultra wide angle lens too. And you can switch up while you're recording, which is an absolutely great feature to use. So you don't have to stop the video while you're recording. So this is using the ultra wide angle lens and video stabilization is still supported. So let me go ahead and draw here a little bit so you can see that the video stabilization stays on even though I'm using the ultra wide angle lens. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and switch it up to 4K 60 frames per second. Okay, so this is 4K 60 frames per second. And the first thing I wanna try out is the autofocus to see if it's just as good while filming at 60 frames per second. And look at that. Focus is still good, really fast actually. One more time, boom, look at that. So let's go ahead and just walk around a little bit. Let's get some of these dead flowers here. See what that looks like. And me personally, I really like 60 frames per second just because of how smooth the video looks. I really love the smoothness that it provides. Let's go ahead and take a jog, check out stabilization. Here we go. Definitely getting a workout today, but there ain't nothing wrong with that. Just getting me a step closer to my goals here. There we are. Go ahead and pan around one more time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go take some more footage, see what I can get, put together a little montage, put it all together, and y'all let me know what you think, so enjoy. putting in work for this video i mean look how much i am sweating right now just to get this video done so make sure you subscribe just because of that right there but there it is my little 4k video test with the new samsung galaxy note 20 ultra let me know your thoughts down in the comment sections below i would love to know what you think don't forget to like this video if you did like it and find it helpful again don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come like my separate 4k low light video test coming really soon for this device you're not going to want to miss out on that so again hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and don't forget to check out our sponsors of this video linked down in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching this is josh quinones i will see you all in the next one peace out